Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror mystery film. Host. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins in July 2020. Due to the spread of coronavirus around the world, the United States ordered a pandemic lockdown. Since there's a pandemic, people are restricted from physical contact to lessen the spread of the virus. However, a pandemic can't stop people from talking with their friends and loved ones, just like Haley and her group of friends. This group of friends are planning to conduct a seance with the help of Haley's friend, a seance medium named Ms. Psychic. Haley sets up the Zoom meeting on her laptop. Afterward, she dresses up before appearing in front of the camera. As she changes into her sweater, she misses a notification of Gemma wanting to join the meeting. Suddenly, a thud noise erupts from nowhere, and so Haley searches for its origin. She grabs her laptop and transfers into the living room when the closet's door in the hallway spontaneously opens by itself. The closet's contents drop on the floor, which Haley cleans up immediately. Haley arrives in front of the window, adjusts the blinds, and finally sees Gemma outside, throwing branches on the window to call her attention. Gemma apologizes and then proceeds to ask Haley to accept her into the meeting. Gemma joins the call by phone and then expresses her excitement about the activity they're about to do later. She then asks Haley if there's going to be an actual supernatural occurrence during the seance, and Haley admits that something really happens. Gemma shortly arrives at her home and transfers into her laptop. Not long after, Emma, Radina, and Caroline eventually join too. They chat, bicker, and catch up with one another for a moment. Amidst their chatting, Caroline introduces her father, who wants to go out to spy a lockdown. Afterward, Caroline goes to her room, and everyone comments that they love her humorous dad. Suddenly, Radina's boyfriend makes a loud cutting noise in the background, so she temporarily leaves the call to settle it. While Radina's away, the rest of the group comment that Radina shouldn't have moved in with someone she doesn't know much yet, especially in a lockdown. Radina returns shortly and tells everyone that she's fine, and it's common for her boyfriend to hide in the bedroom after their argument. The moment Radina returns, Emma plays with the camera filters to scare everyone. And then, Caroline joins in too, by showing her self-made artificial background of herself. Just then, Emma announces that her beardy friend named Messy Beard will be joining the Sands tonight. The girls proceed to gossip about Messy Beard and his shallow and beardless girlfriend. As they chat, Messy Beard shortly joins the call with his beards, revealing they are near the pool of his girlfriend's mansion. Messy Beard then brings the laptop into the mansion for a stable internet connection. Afterward, he gives them a tour of the mansion, showing a puppet, a fancy bar, and his Nana's red music box, with a little ballerina dancing in the middle. Once everyone is settled, Haley reminds everyone her psychic friend will be guiding them throughout the ordeal. She adds that they need to take it seriously and be respectful of the process. Suddenly, Messy Beer offers a little game to everyone. Every time Ms. Psychic mentions Astral Plane, they're going to sneak a sip from their alcohol. Most of them agree, except Haley and Gemma, who chooses to drink water. Before they begin, Haley takes a picture of them with her Polaroid camera. Afterward, everyone takes a shot of alcohol instead of hormones. Not long after, Haley receives a text from Ms. Psychic informing that she's already in Zoom's waiting room. So Haley announces to everyone that Ms. Psychic is waiting and they're about to start. Finally, Ms. Psychic joins the call and warmly greets everyone. Then she proceeds by asking them if they've brought a trigger object that's closely connected to someone who they want to speak with in the astral plane. So everyone shows their trigger objects to Ms. Psychic on the screen. During their meeting, Gemma and Emma intentionally ask questions about communicating with the dead to Ms. Psychic in an attempt for her to mention the astral plane. They'd suppress their laughter as they sneak a drink because Ms. Psychic occasionally mentions the astral plane. Afterward, Ms. Psychic asks everyone to light the candle that's going to serve as a beacon for the spirit to approach their circle. Then they're going to expect responses from the spirits, such as hearing names and knocks, seeing faces and flickering candles, or physical touch on their skins. Messy Beer suddenly interrupts and asks Ms. Psychic the name of the plane. When Ms. Psychic answers Astral Plane, Haley plants a palm on her face because her friends are disrespecting the ordeal with their shallow game. Since they're not in one place, they're going to visualize themselves as part of the circle with a candle in the middle. And if something happens, they need to imagine a rope leading to a door and then cut it to end the ordeal. During the seance, the girlfriend intervenes, intentionally blows out Messy Beard's candle and disconnects him from the meeting, possibly because it would be dangerous for him to sit his beards too close to the lit candle. After the short interruption, most of the girls throw insults at Messy Beard's beardless girlfriend for being rude, but Ms. Psychic asks them to focus on the circle and the ordeal. Ms. Psychic assures them that if someone in the group is possessed, it just means that they successfully come into contact with a spirit and can communicate with them. 
so they avert their focus into the circle and proceed with the sands. Amidst the quietness, a loud thud erupts in the background. They think it's a spirit, but it's only Ms. Psychic's delivery package. Ms. Psychic excuses herself to get her package. She returns shortly and instructs everyone to focus on the signs of spirits communicating. Suddenly, Gemma shouts loudly and claims that someone touched her neck. Gemma timidly tells everyone the spirit's name is Jack, her former schoolmate who helped her before, but unfortunately died after hanging himself. Suddenly, Ms. Psychic disconnects from the meeting after all the books in her background fall off the shelf. While Ms. Psychic is away, Gemma admits that Jack is nothing but a fictional character she made up to fill the looming awkward silence earlier. Because of Gemma's joke, Haley gets mad at her for fooling around. The girls take a bathroom break, leaving their screens vacant, when suddenly Gemma's candlelight extinguishes by itself, even though no one's there. After the break, they return to the meeting, and Gemma mocks the sands again. She calls out Haley's name repeatedly, and Haley shouts at her for fooling around. Tension brews as Gemma and Haley fight, when suddenly a strange force or spirit stirs up a commotion in each of the girls' houses. An invisible force pulls Haley's chair away from the laptop. They think Haley's making it up, but she shows everyone that the chair has no cord to commit the stunt. Haley believes they need to continue the seance, because they've already connected with something. Suddenly, a faint noise emerges again. Haley checks her place to see if it's coming from her house, but there's nothing. When they realize the noise is from Caroline, Caroline timidly checks her place. She first examines downstairs and then the attic. When she reaches the dark and dusty attic, she pans past a hanging corpse, but it disappears right after she faces it again. Caroline immediately returns to her room after the terrifying experience, and the next phenomenon occurs in Haley's house again. Haley uses her Polaroid camera to take a picture of her living room, and when the photo finally finishes printing, it reveals a hanging figure across the room. The girls begin feeling fear creeping into their body as the terrifying signs appear before them. Just as they allow the events to sink in their minds, Emma's wine glass spontaneously explodes. The girls are beginning to panic and break down when Haley finally makes contact with Ms. Psychic on the phone and relays to her all the phenomena since her disconnection from the meeting. After hearing the details, Ms. Psychic explains that Gemma's mockery of the astral plane after creating a non-existent friend named Jack has allowed the demonic spirit to enter their sand circle. Ms. Psychic also adds that the demonic spirit might be a tulpa, under the disguise of Gemma's made-up character, Jack. After Ms. Psychic informs everyone of the consequence of fooling around the astral plane, she instructs everyone on the method of closing the sands. However, Jack, the demonic and invisible spirit, interrupts and ends the call with Ms. Psychic, leaving behind the girls unfinished from ending the sands. Fortunately, Haley knows the process and asks everyone to remain calm while they close the sands. After ending the sands, they sigh with relief because they believe it's over. The girls begin to do their own errands, but are still on call because they're scared to be alone. Redina goes to the bathroom and is surprised to see her boyfriend gone without telling her. Seeing his phone left behind in the bathroom, she goes to search for him. Meanwhile, Caroline disappears from the meeting, leaving the artificial background she made prompt on the screen. As for Emma, she goes downstairs and sees her camera filter hovering on the screen even though no one's there. While Emma approaches the filter, the filter suddenly faces her. So she grabs a bag of flour from the kitchen counter and scatters it to see if someone is there. The filter is gone, but footprints suddenly appear on the flour ground. Emma knows it's Jack's footprints approaching her, and so she bolts upstairs. As Jack chases after her, the cabinets in the kitchen bursts open, causing their contents to fly and crash on the floor. Emma is almost near her bedroom, but Jack catches her and strangles her in the air. Luckily, Emma manages to free herself despite the painful attack and hides under her bed blanket. Meanwhile, Redima is still searching for her boyfriend, when suddenly he drops dead from the ceiling. After witnessing his death, she tries to leave her house to escape from Jack. However, Jack drags her smelly ass back into the house and kills her instantly, leaving a drop of diabetic blood on her phone screen. On the other hand, Caroline finally appears from her artificial background. But Caroline's face is bloody as Jack brutally smashes her face non-stop on the desk. Caroline cries for help, but the three friends can only weep in disbelief at the sight of their friend's gruesome death. Caroline's laptop eventually falls to the ground, implying that she's already dead. Due to the succeeding deaths and misfortunes of everyone, Haley blames Gemma for messing around, despite her reminder to respect the spirits. Gemma tries to argue back at Haley when Jack suddenly pulls Haley off screen, drags her into the corridor, and closes the hallway door. Terrified, Gemma leaves the meeting and runs into Haley's house to help her, since they are neighbors. 
Emma is the only one remaining in the meeting, and a notification prompts on the screen to remind everyone that the meeting will end in 10 minutes. Suddenly, Messy Beard shows up in the call with his beards, but his puppet appears instead in an attempt to scare everyone. He's completely oblivious of Jack's reeking havoc and death, and Emma tries to warn him about the demon attacking them, but Messy Beard assures her that it's nothing to be scared of. The mansion, where Messy Beard stays spontaneously, experiences a blackout. Emma fears it's Jack's doing, so she tries to warn him again, but Messy Beard doesn't listen. As he confidently searches for the mansion's power switch, a terrifying demon Jack suddenly flashes on Messy Beard's screen and attacks him. Messy Beer manages to escape and runs into the backyard pool to warn his girlfriend of the demon. But he's too late as Jack lifts the heavy girl up in the air, breaks her chick neck, and dropped her in the pool. Overwhelmed with fear, Messy Beard flees from the mansion and into the dark field. With no source of light, he uses a lighter to shed light on the road. However, across the field, his music box from the mansion appears on the ground and plays a tune, implying that Jack is there. Jack knocks Messy Beard unconscious, and the fire from the lighter swallows and burns his whole beard and body. Emma cries because she's frightened and alone. Suddenly, Emma's bedroom door opens by itself. To check if Jack is in her room, she throws her blanket at the space. The blanket does land on Jack, revealing its figure in the doorway. Scared of whatever Jack's ways to kill her, she opens her bedroom window to escape. But instead, she lands on the backyard chairs, leading her to death. The movie ends with Gemma arriving at Haley's home. Gemma checks Haley's laptop where she sees everyone is dead. Suddenly, Jack cracks a glass bottle at her head, causing her to fall to the ground. Jack moves the laptop, revealing a wounded Gemma on the floor. Gemma opens her phone to connect to the meeting, showing the cabinets bursting open and their contents dropping carelessly on the floor to scare her. Luckily, Gemma manages to stand to search for Haley. Eventually, Gemma finds Haley hiding under her bedroom desk. The two surviving friends use the Polaroid camera to produce a flash to light the dark house. However, when they reach the doorway into the living room, Jack appears without notice and lunges at the two friends. Right after Jack attacks them, the Zoom meeting timer expires and a long list of the mysterious attendants is shown on the screen. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.